most of you guys already know me, but I'm going to go through my history anyways, so sit through it. Um, I, start, I grew up, well, I was born in New Jersey, but I grew up in Northport, right down the road from here. Yeah, I was always interested in music, but I uh, was never really interested in drums at all. I always wanted to play the saxophone. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, but then one of my friends was selling a drum kit out of his attic for 30 bucks. And I'm like, man, drums look cool. I want to look cool. <laughs> That's what it was all about. I just wanted to look sweet. It had nothing to do with playing. So uh, I went to my parents and asked them for 30 bucks. And they said no. <laughs> they were totally supportive of it, but they were like, if you want it, you're gonna have to earn the money yourself and pay for it, I guess. So I'd appreciate it, probably. <laughs> so, so I mowed the yard once, and they gave me 30 bucks. <laughs> and, 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 and Do not do it they, again. Huh? Do not mow it again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then uh, I just started playing drones in bands in high school. I took lessons for a little while. Uh, kind of got me going on the right track. And uh, yeah, I started playing for bands in high school. Some of the people I jammed with in high school are here tonight, which is pretty cool, thank you. Um, but yeah, I started making, my name, making a name for myself locally, um, just promoting, promoting, playing, playing with anybody and everybody I could. And then uh, my reputation kind of got out around, time, around town, made its way up to Tampa, uh, which is when I got in touch with the band Jenna Tortures uh, to play for them. You guys familiar with them? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was 19 when I joined that band, and um, that was my first time being in like a real like career building band. Um, I was 19 years old, straight out of high school, touring on a bus all around the United States, Canada, went over to Australia, New Zealand, all around Europe. Um, yeah, thank you. <laughs> and um, yeah, look at my notes. Uh, but yeah, but that was my first time being in like a real band on a real tour and everything and my first time being in real recording studios So I kind of got used to doing that and that was like a total dream come true Or dream come true for me to be in that band like in my high school year picture. I'm sitting there wearing a Jenna Tortures t-shirt So if that tells you how much that meant to me joining that band and being with those guys, it was awesome um, But whenever Jenna Tortures wasn't on tour, I couldn't get enough playing so I'd hire myself out to other bands uh, be like a hired gun thing, and that's how I got involved with uh, with Pig and Crossbreed and Switched and The Undead, which is uh, Bobby Steele, the original guitarist from The Misfits. So that was kind of like another dream come true, being able to play with the guy that wrote Last Caress. You know, that's pretty cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Misfits. <laughs> and uh, yeah, doing that, being the hired gun and getting my name around, um, that's when I started picking up all the endorsements. Uh, with the drums and the cymbals and everything, and then they started putting me in the ads in like Modern Drummer and Drum Magazine and stuff like that, and that's when I got the respect of the other drummers, like my peers in the professional industry side of things. So, um, so yeah, that's where I'm at now. Uh, well, now, yeah, so, give me a second. <laughs> so basically that brings you up to speed. Um, so I went from jamming in my garage, which I still do, um, to playing with all these bigger bands and stuff and being on like big uh, major label releases and stuff and uh, being able to play and record with bands I respect. Like this next song I'm going to do, it's called Addiction by Dope. Yeah. 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 Uh, this was the first um, single that hit the radio for the No Regrets album that I played drums on. It's the first song that I ever heard myself on the radio, which I still hear it from time to time, so that makes me happy. And uh, we did a video for this too, which was on MTV, and when they still play videos. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and Zach Wilde from Black Label Society did the did the guitar solo on this song. So this is Addiction by Dope. <laughs> 